have a creator's worst nightmare. We're already up to the 250 hour service. We're on a tight schedule tonight. The crew are on Nanji. Subscribe to the channel as we sail our Nanji girl around the world. Oh, it's pretty red. Oh, that looks like a big burn. Oh. I spilled hot oil all over my belly cooking squid last night. Should always wear clothes in the kitchen. So we gotta let that heal. We have to extend our visas and we got our friends to pick up in a week's time. So we're just gonna get away from the waves. And I'm not like, tempted. So we're leaving this place and we're heading to Padang overnight tonight. This is pasties at the bottom of Tanambala Island in the Telos Islands. He's on again. Oh, it's in the blue. The fish has taken a fair bit of line, so I'm just turning the boat around to drive up to it. It's my turn to catch a fish, but I thought, oh, I'm so hungry, I just want to get it, so I'll let Josh reel this one in. If what. After this one, I'll reel in the next one. Woo! <laughs> Good gaffer! Sick! Bad daddy! Dinner! You know, woo! It's pretty big, is it? Yeah, that's a, a good Mackie. Good Mackie, yeah. Is it a good Mackie? Bad daddy! <laughs> woo! This is a Spanish Mackie. I love chasing these bad boys, fishing them, trying to spear them, trying to catch them on the hook. And just everything about these fish is awesome. by a big thick cloud so there's no stars out. I got roast veggies in the oven that smell amazing. Hanging out waiting for them to be ready. We're nearly here into Padang. Both really tired. Yeah, so we'll get in here and we'll drop anchor and we'll, first things first we'll get everything sorted and we'll go to immigration and get our visas organized. Busy day after no sleep. Someone's had a bit of mischief. Whole bunch of food here. This one's heavy. Who's a lucky boy? That's chicken. Shake. Good boy. Shake. Other hand. Shake. Good boy. Please to meet ya. Oh, you smell the chicken, don't ya? Oh, you smell the chicken! So we got some chicken for Marley Man while we were provisioning. I thought it was all chicken pieces. It's a whole chicken, including the head and the feet are tucked in up inside its dut. Cutie! And they give you... This is so disgusting! I thought it was really kind. They, they give you the some... kidney in a packet! Do you want some chicken feet, Marley? You want some chicken feet? feet? You want some chicken feet? You want some chicken feet? Hell yeah! Sit down. I need to chop this bloody head Hello. off. Show us the chicken. This is so gross. Hello. Oh, I'm not lying. I broke my toe. Hey, like, did you hear the crack? I heard it cracked. It sounded oh. like a pinky breaking. Oh, it's, I Pop in your even... pinky. No, it's definitely. I can't wiggle it. Bring your flipper foot up here. No, you're not filming my foot. You guys don't get to see my feet. I'm sorry, but the relationship, there's a line, and that's the line, guys. Bonita has a few nicknames. Oh, shut up! 
No. One of those is Flipper Foot. Cut! Because she's got massive feet. <laughs> nine Australian ladies so like on the larger size side. We wear the same shoe size and I have 11 no, men's. No you don't it just means you have small feet. I have size 11 men's shoes and I can wear Benita's thongs because her thongs fit my feet which means that her shoes fit my feet and vice versa. It's, it means it says more about Yosha's foot size than my foot size. I'm fine. I'm a size 7 in men's so take your 11 size and eleven walk away. We're on a bit of a mission today. We have a creator's worst nightmare. Our hard drive with all of our future data on it has uh, decided to stop working. So the little disc inside has decided to stop spinning uh, and it can't read the data anymore. Luckily, we're in Padang, which is a city. There's uh, probably about 20 computer stores around and we're off today to see if someone uh, is able to fix this because if they can't, we are screwed. We just climb over the customs boat. Sampa. Rubbish. This is our driver. We're also heading to immigration today to extend our visas. Uh, we've been here in Indonesia for 60 days now, so we need to renew it. Uh, we got this guy to help us. We normally do everything ourselves, but because we have this other issue on our hands, we've um, actually had, a, had another guy help us out. So um, all we need to do is go in there today and get our fingerprints done and get our photos taken. So the paperwork should already be in process. Oh yeah, we're also importing a life raft because we don't have one and we need it to cross the Indian and so we've been trying to organise this for a very long time and the ball has only just finally started moving. Because we're importing it, it's probably going to take about four to five weeks maybe, so we really need to, yeah, we're still doing that. We've had a life raft for the last couple of years kicking around but it hasn't been serviced. Yes, we just have it just to say we've got one for but mum's, mum's sake. Yeah it doesn't, <laughs> I wouldn't try, it's called a death raft. Yeah. Okay. Just call it our friend Rudy who hopefully he can translate for us. For some reason they can fix computers but they can't fix a hard drive. Hard drives are in computers. I don't know man. One computer shop, we're on to the next one. Hopefully they can do something about this. Nope, they can't do it either, so keep moving. All right, we might be on a win onto a winner here. They said uh, the technician is praying at the moment, but he'll be back in one hour and he might be able to fix it. So we'll come back and fingers crossed, hey, because this... We just spoke with the technician and he said that like he's never done it before. He thinks that the hard drive is broken and the data's lost, which means he doesn't know what he's doing. So um, he said that we could replace the motherboard if we find the exact same well, that was my hard idea. drive, but that was Yosha's idea and they don't sell those hard drives. So oh, I don't know. I just don't really want to give this to somebody that doesn't know what they're doing. We went to immigration and got our fingerprints and our photos taken. We sat in the office for probably three to four hours and uh, we're just heading back to the boat now. Just to add to our stresses, we've uh, decided to change our editing software program over to Premiere Pro. It's quite an extensive and professional program. Rather than fumbling our way through it, I decided to join up with Skillshare. It's an online learning community for creators with over 250,000 classes. They have classes for everything on there like um, business design, photography, video editing, lots of different classes. This Premiere Pro course is about three and a half hours long, but it's broken up into 19 different videos. I can work at my own pace. It stops where I last left off, so I can pause halfway through a video, and then when I go back on, it'll start it from there again. It's been fantastic so far. So Yosh and I learn at a different pace, and rather than having him ask me questions all the time, like, how do I do this? How do I do that? I get him to sit down and he does the course as well. So we're both learning at the same pace and we're both learning the same things. And so we're both moving forward together. If this platform is something you might be interested in, there's a link in the description below. If you use the link, we'll get a free two month trial and annual memberships are about 10 bucks a month after that. So it's really cool and it's a great way to learn. So we've been quite busy in this area motoring around which means we're already up to the 250 hour service. 
It's a bit of a major one. I've got to change over all filters, drop out all oils. I've just had the motor running to heat up the oil and uh, we'll get the little pump onto it now and drain it all out. Hello, Fang. <whistles> Look how beautiful she looks. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I quite often just open up the uh, the motor hatch here and just sit here and admire. She just makes me smile. Hey baby. Another part of the service is just go over all like, all nuts and stuff, so I'll, I'll check all the motor mounts. Our alignment's still sweet, so I don't have to worry about that, but I'll just make sure uh, all our motor mounts are still tight and check the connectors on the battery and that sort of stuff. When we bought Nanji, it was whatever is on board is now ours, so as is, I think they call it. And one of those things that were as is was this little 12 valve pump that I can drain the oil out of and it's probably the best thing ever rather than manually sucking it out or draining it out the very bottom and making a big mess. I actually really enjoy this little thing. When we first bought Fang before we'd even installed it or anything like that, from the dealer where we bought it from we also ordered like six service kits. So in each service kit which gives us up to like 1500 hours so we have enough oil filters, fuel filters, impellers, all these things, uh, all these things spares that we can now carry. So I've got all these little kits and it makes it quite simple to do this little changeover. Oil filter, fuel filter, gloves, uh-huh, impeller, and we've got no ring. Who are you for? So I've changed the oil filter, the fuel filter, and the water separator filter. So they're all changed over. Now I'll fill it up with oil. We take about five and a half, six litres from memory, but I'll just check it on the dipstick as it's going in. And then we'll run it just so I just got to check these filters. Because I remember when we first started it for the very first time, we had a diesel leak out of the fuel filter here. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time around. First we'll top her up with some quality 15W40. A little addition I installed on Fang in the fuel tank that we didn't have on Old Smokey. Uh, I'll put an inline bulb, so an inline primer, just like you have on your outboards between the fuel tank and the first water separator, just to help prime the lines to, to lift it up from the bottom of the tank into the water separator, and then the electric lift pump can suck it out through there and into the engine, to, just to help priming. The boss has just gone upstairs to start it, and we'll just have a suss if we have a bit of a diesel leak here, or an oil leak around the oil filter. All right, boss, ready when you are? Ready? Just hear the lift pump cranking it. Righto! Yeah, so that filter is leaking. We're gonna have to try to tighten it. Well, it might not cut out if the old fuel tap was on. Yeah, I think that's got it. I think that's Billy's, which is just a bit of diesel on the outside of the filter, because you have to fill the filter up before you screw it on. There's no drips coming off it, and the bang seems to be purring again. Sweet! One job done. Every 250 hours, suss out the impeller, have a look at it, the raw water impeller, to see if that's okay. Uh, I can't see if we have any issues, but I want to have a little look at it anyway, just for the sake of it. And it's the 250 hours, so I'll do what the book says. To get to it though, it's a bit of a, it's tucked back up and around. You don't really have good access on the other side, so it's, you just have to access it from this side. Just take those four front bolts off, and when the face comes off, I can have a look at the impeller. So that's the impeller there, that was pretty easy, just behind, hidden behind that plate and everything looks all hunky-dory Mickey Mouse there, so I'll just cover it back up again. Tighten up the bolts around the place, have a bit more of an inspection of Fang and then job done. Our uh, friends arrived today and I was just really stressed out. I've been editing for the last uh, two days trying to get the next video done so that when they come we can just go and explore and so I've lacked in the housework so I've still got I've got like five loads of washing to do Josh has been working on the motor yesterday it rained yesterday and all of our clothes got wet so everything is just stinking and it's just for the life raft I've been trying to organize this literally for two months and we still haven't got it organized no one's shipping it to us yet and the time's running out I'm trying my hardest to make everything organized so that when we're ready to cross the Indian we don't, we don't, we're not stressed and it's stressing me out now. Everything's just compounding today. The hard drive thing has like really set us back like massively and not feeling like I'm doing enough is really stressful and I'm trying to do everything. I'm trying to be on the online, I'm trying to make the videos and I'm trying to physically do jobs as well and I just wish I had a few more arms. 
Okay, I've, I've calmed down now. I got through the washing and the cleaning. Uh, really lucky, it's a really sunny day today and the washing's just like drying like that. So I've gotten through it and uh, yeah, it's not as bad as... <laughs> I just think it's just things are just compiling at the moment and every day that goes by, the stress gets a little bit more... Um, yeah, trying to get everything ready for the crossing. The boat's ready for our new guests and uh, we're about to be picked up so let's go get them. These guys did us a huge favour when we first left Australia. They looked after Miley for us for a few months. Um, and so this is kind of like a thank you for them. And yeah, so these are more Miley's friends than ours. <laughs> Here's our ride. We should be picking up our passports uh, today as well. On our way to the airport to pick up our friends. It's all happening guys, seriously. It's been a busy lay week, mm -hmm. trying to organize everything, but stoked, my belly's healed. Kind of sort ready of. to surf anyway. You still got? Okay, so we go here to immigration. Yeah. Okay, sweet ass. Papa Ngo. Ah, ah, sini. Sini. I've signed off. Forgot to bring it. Oh, yeah. Got our passports back. They held it for five days, so we weren't sure what was going on, but all good. We got another month in Indo. Look how they sell the lettuces. Shop-grown bok choy. Who's this? Oh, look at his tail. <laughs> He's so funny. Hello. He's so cute. He's so lovely. <laughs> you remember us, Joy. <laughs> we're on a tight schedule tonight. The crew are on Nanji and we're straight into work getting the tender on the bow so we can get moving. We really want to get to this anchorage in daylight, so we need to uh, get a wriggle on. <laughs> Basically looked at the charts and saw where it was going to be offshore with the southeast and where there was exposed reef to the southwest. How cool is this? We're anchored like right on the shoulder of this wave. Okay! Woo! Go Manny! Man Judy's boyfriend Judy's. How are you feeling me? Old mate Fishos have anchored pretty well smack bang in the middle of the little lagoon so we've had to get creative. That's the job of making a fire. So we're just getting some kidling. A lot of small sticks and stuff, whatever's lying around. You ready? 